Alright, we've achieved you and Demi Koyagashi Tai, episode 11, so let's get into this. You know, this episode was really, really sad. It was a good episode, but extremely sad. Seeing how Rika is now, seeing Dekamore's reaction, how she's just feeling about how Rika is now. Yuta not necessarily saying the things that she wants to hear. It's just, oh my, oh, it, it's just, it was a slew of just sadness problems and stuff so let me just give you this like a quick summary and give my thoughts and opinions on this episode so basically Rika has took off his, took off her eye patch you know from last episode and she had it off for three weeks now for, this is prior to that time so yeah she's being normal I guess she's on the quote-unquote normal side at this point um when it came to Nubatani the fair went well so well that the drum club is actually trying to recruit Nubatani which is very interesting, very interesting, because Dekamori and Nibutani did a good job, apparently, so, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm really interested about that. Um, the club is disbanded, you know, the high the high society club, you know, the club that Rika made, the, that they're in, it's, it's, it's they, she disbanded it, it's over, they need to go do their own thing, what she said. So, it's like, another thing that what Dekamori was just like, ah, like, she just can't take it. So Rika's trying to become normal, they're like in the process of becoming normal, and she's taking all the stuff out of her room, like, from the episode we, for, the first episode we've seen, when it comes to Yuta, you know, trying to get all of his stuff in boxes and just put it out there. Same thing with Rika's doing right now. So it's just like a repeated process, and I'm just like, ah, no! <laughs> and her mom, now Rika's mom, wants to take Rika to her father's grave. And it was just like, it's another decision that she doesn't really know she wants to go. And she wanted Yuta to say, don't go. But Yuta never said anything, you know. He 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 allowed her to just go, you know, just do your thing. That's what you want to do. This will help your mom. Your mom's gonna be happy. Do it. It's just and she went and she just not she's not happy. And so at the end of this episode, Dekamori got yelled at. She got Yuta went ham on Dekamori and just told her all your bull crap is you know all this cheap and stuff. Just get that crap out of here. You know none of that stuff is real. And she's like I know. It was just it was just uh, it, it was like I said it was just like I. Dang, and I, I didn't want to see Dekamori cry like that. It was, it was so sad, you know. Uh, she just, she couldn't take the, she could not take um, Rika's, you know, re rehabilitation basically, being normal at this point. Because Rika, there's instances where she's like, oh, because like, there's like shiny diamonds and stuff, not diamonds, but like rocks and stuff. But you know, she kind of, kind of calm down, not trying to get into that mode, and she just, she's just trying to fit in. She even actually jumped in on a conversation and tried to actually get some friends she, she, and she actually got some normal friends now out of this whole thing and it's just like things are changing and stuff and uh i, I mean i don't know what i gotta say because i knew she was gonna have to go to this go at this point at some at some point in this anime i was wondering how she would react how she would feel you know what i mean and i didn't expect her to feel i mean i didn't, I didn't expect her to be this sad like like she's like she looks so sad she's like not happy at all and it's just like uh, I don't know how to really express it because it's just I, I don't I don't like how she's so sad looking. I'm like smile, girl. Holy, come on! Like there's instances where she really wanted to be like because <gasps> you know you to seem like he was gonna say something because she she wanted you to to say the right things to her to you know comfort her and stuff. But it just you to didn't know what to really do in the situation because she it would feel irresponsible to just try to fuel the fire on that Cuban yo you know going back to the eighth grade syndrome stuff you know. So he tried not to do what she what he wanted but do what's best for her at this point and hopefully his decision is what's best for her and i'm just wondering what is going to happen next episode because she is going to go see her father's grave so i'm just thinking either this can go to a romantic turn where yuta can like come over there and be like yeah don't go or something like randomly just find a way to like don't go don't go over there or something and and maybe they can do like at least a, at least an epic hug i don't think i don't think they're gonna kiss because i'm pretty sure the next episode is the last episode so I don't know if they're going to kiss within this entire show. So can I at least get another epic hug? You know, I, I want another epic hug where things swirl around like doves flying in the air, freaking fireworks happen right behind them and, the, and they're all shining. And, you know what I mean? Like something, something more epic to happen. Because I, I don't know. I just want them to really show that they care about each other more than this. You know, just I, I want another epic hug if not a kiss, you know. So I'm thinking maybe you either you two can go over there, say something about her, and try to calm her down. You know, like you don't have to I mean, act this way. You know, feel do what you want to do. This is your life or something. You know what I mean? And maybe that'll make her happy. Otherwise, what's actually gonna happen is gonna be a pretty sad scene, and she's gonna go into see her father's grave. And I wonder how she was gonna react. Like she might not actually react at all, or she could be a breakdown and start crying or something. Or you know what I mean? Like I don't know exactly how she's gonna react to seeing you know her father's grave. And I. I, I do want to know 
what would happen even after that fact if she did see it. Because then she'll come back home and then talk, maybe talk to Yuta, maybe. But I mean, something, I don't really know what would really happen when it comes to that, if that, if that scenario happens, you know? So I want to know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? If she actually just goes to the grave, like, what do you, how do you think her reaction may be? And what, how do you think this would end exactly? Because I'm, I'm not quite sure when it, com when it comes to that. So it's just, it's really sad. And I wonder if Dekamori is going to become normal now. Because the thing is, like I said, Yuto just went ham on her telling like, this stuff ain't real. You need to be in reality, not in this fantasy world. And she knows this stuff. So is she, like, is next up, is she going to like come in and she's going to be like a normal person just like Rika too? Or is she still going to have this cheap, yo know, little syndrome stuff going down? Because, you know, Nibutani actually tried to comfort her in one of the scenes in this episode. So it was kind of nice to see that. So I'm just wondering if Dekamori is, in fact, going to end up trying to, you know, change to not this whole, I'm going to kick you in the butt, howdy, blah, or into, you know, hi, hey, I'm, Dekamori, I'm Dekamori Sane, you know, let's be friends or something. Like that. <laughs> you know, so I'll, it'd, be, it'd be weird to see her normal, though. I'd be like, what the heck? You know, I, I don't know if I can take it. I don't know if I can take it. <laughs> so, um... With that being said, oh, well, I guess I can also bring up um, Ishiki. <laughs> Ishiki still stri striking out yet again with, you know, Colin and stuff. So, I wonder if there, I wonder if there is going to be any progress with them. Because I don't know. I don't think there is. Like, at this point in time, man, I don't know what you're going to do. You get you, you wrote a love letter, but I don't know if that's going to be enough, man. There's nothing you can do. It's over, man. It's over. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> so, uh, with that being said, leave your comments below and tell me what you think of the episode. I really like to know your opinions, thoughts, and the theories as to how maybe this episode will go down if she actually goes to the, the, the to the graveyard. Because if she just goes to the graveyard, I don't know how she's... I can, I can see her not reacting at all. You know what I mean? I can see her not reacting at all and going back, being like incredibly sad. But I don't know how it'll wrap up exactly. Unless maybe you, you, um, you two can say something to her to you know calm her down. But I'm not, I'm not sure. So uh, with that being said, you can tell me what you think. Like, like this review and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more. Shoot me all the McCoy Gashi Tai reviews from me. So with that being said, it's been The Breakmaster. And until then break out.